Are you conscious of whatever you want? I hate politics. Maybe because I never had president. Just a constant oh, about Excuse me. Akil? Oh my god, Bia. I'm so sorry. I have a lot going on. I'm kind of in a rush. It's always. And what is that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. Every time I see you, you're running around like crazy. You know, you've been acting really strange lately. Not to mention, you don't even look like yourself. You're losing weight. Your hair's a mess, and you look like you haven't even slept in a few days. Look, I know. I just have a lot going on right now. Oh my god, BF, I could actually use a favor Wait, from you. Wait, whoa, whoa. Can, you... can I what? Look, you have the nerve to ask me for a favor when you weren't there for me when I needed you the most? I almost missed my meeting because of you. Not to mention, you didn't even pick up the phone and give me any type of explanation. I apologize to you a million times. What else do you expect me to do if you can't accept that I'm sorry? And I don't have an explanation for you. And I don't have time for you and your little girlfriend, Letitia, either. Wait, wait, girlfriend? Look, Akil, I can't be seen with you. Come by and talk to you about your grades. Come on, coach. It's too early for some boy. I know, I know. <sighs> DJ, I don't know what you've been doing, but you're in the clear. Uh, look, I missed two. Wait, what you just say? I said you're in the clear. <laughs> oh, thanks, coach. <laughs> With that 88 in stats and your improved philosophy <laughs> grades, I can play you again. Yes, man. So when when is practice? Uh, this evening at seven. I'll, be I'll see you at practice, DJ. Thank you, sir. Ha ha! You're gonna play again? Hello? Hey, what's up? I passed. Huh? I passed the test. I had 88 percentage and I could play none. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I thank you, man. It was all because of you. That's really good. Don't don't give me all the credit. You did some of the work. <laughs> hey, don't go raining on my parade now, man. For real. Now look, if you would got a hundred percent, then I want all the credit. <laughs> I'm just playing. Nah, um, you guys still come to the event tonight? I mean, when is it? You never told me anything else about it. Alright, well I'll tell I'll tell my girl and we'll go. Oh that's good. I'll just send you the information. Alright, thank you again, Stacy. Yeah, no, again, you did the work. I'm glad to hear all that, Mr. James. Have a good night. Alright, bye. Yeah, I'm cold. You are so nasty, Akila. I don't say you drink that. It tastes like paper. What? So soy's good. What are you talking about? No, it's, it's better not. for you too. No, it's not. Okay. Man, your phone been pulling up all day. I see you have a lot of girlfriends. <laughs> no, it's not even like that. Mm-hmm. Akil, this whole nice guy act is not fooling me. It's always those pretty quiet ones you need to keep your eyes on. I assure you, I'm not dating anyone. I understand that people don't know what a true dating relationship is. I know exactly what you mean. It seems like everybody want to play brother and sister, which is really a code for the people they want to play house with. 
I don't understand why you men started that crap in the first place. Wait, men? Um, yes, men. Don't tell me. Well, yes. I'm a proud and well-versed feminist. Well, yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> but please don't tell me you're the male-hating stereotype. <laughs> no, Akil. I don't hate men. I just hate those pet names, brother and sister. You men only use those terms to label the women you have sex with. That is just so childish. I think you're right and wrong. How? Well, just as I believe that men use the term more than women for the people they want to have sex with, I don't think we're the ones who created it. <laughs> then who? You men use it more than we do. Well, that's because y'all like it. <laughs> no, we don't. Generally, you do. See, men, we're very simple creatures. We only use, we only do what we're allowed to do. And, you know, if y'all stopped calling us brother and stopped us from calling y'all sister, well, this wouldn't be a conversation. <laughs> now you know, as long as that one female who accepts it. Well, yeah, that's true, too. That's why I said generally. See, you know, if, if the majority say no, then the rest will follow for the most part. But why do you men like to play house anyway? Well, same reason as women, because we don't understand the paradigm of relationships. What do you mean? Well, marriage, just like any other relationship, can be broken down into two categories, and that's intimacy and communication. See, communication is very important. A break in communication is the first step to, the, to a breakup. Now, intimacy, on the other hand, <laughs> intimacy is a little bit more complex. So that's what you guys focus more on, intimacy? Nah, I understand why you think that. The first term that comes to mind when people hear the word intimacy is sex. But what it really has to do with is sincerity, trustworthiness, and comfortableness. <laughs> Those are pretty simple terms, so why do you think it's more complex? Well, trustworthiness in itself is almost a category. See, you can't be comfortable with somebody you don't trust. And we're the most sincere with the people we're comfortable with. They are kind of intertwined. But intimacy, on the other hand, if you're not able to be intimate with somebody, meaning one-on-one, -on -one, well, then that's a big problem. For example, if we were at a party and we were just having the time of our life, but you take away the activities and everything, and we can't enjoy each other, then that's not a good relationship. See, relationships go way deeper than that, but I hope you understand what the gist of what I was trying to convey. I got it. So have you ever thought about writing a book? I mean, you could be like the new Steve Harvey or here or something. I'm just saying. Nah, my words aren't that deep. I just call it how I see it, you know? So, you're going to avoid that call again? This is my friend Jasmine. And why are you not talking to her? I mean, I don't think we're friends anymore. She's been acting all distant, like she's trying to push me away or something like that. Now, who doesn't want to be your friend again? I guess you're right, but then again. Ladies, I'm so sorry. We have a few things to discuss. We'll be all ready for a few people to get here. Stacy and Kim, you might as well go ahead and say their name. They always late. She's right. And ain't nobody got time to be waiting on them all day. I say we just hurry up and start. Have they ass catch up. <laughs> hey, why do I have my name all the way down the hall? You got something to say, you can say it to my face. I'll say it to both of your faces. You guys are getting on my last nerve. And that damn mouth of yours is getting on mad for what's new. And I second that bitter ass always got something to say. Y'all was the ones that was Nobody was talking about Nobody was talking about Nobody was talking about Hey, Ms. Moore, I'm so sorry. Wasn't expecting me today. I can tell. I'm appalled by you ladies' behavior. I can hear you all the way outside. Apologize, ladies. Sorry. Stacy. I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me. Your immature and ignorant behavior only affects yourself, which is why I'm here today. I was approached by a member of the administration today, and she hints to me that you ladies are being watched for suspension of hazing. What? Ms. Parker, since you're the president of this chapter, and I expect you to handle the situation as such, Gamma 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 is a non-hazing sorority. It is not and will not be tolerated under any extent. Members found guilty of hazing can and will be suspended or expelled from the sorority. We take these allegations very seriously. Understood? Yes. yes. And to show you how serious I am, I've canceled the probate show. What? what? Oh. You, you guys need to lay low and not bring any attention to yourselves until the investigation is over. Now, I will allow you to have your homecoming party because you put a lot of time and money into planning it. But any other events will be postponed until the investigation is over. Good day, ladies. Hate an allegation? What the fuck are we gonna do? I know I never partake in any hate, and this will affect my scholarship credentials. Girl, fuck them credentials. We can get five to ten. Jail? I can't go to jail. I'm too small. They'll pass me around in there. You should be used to that anyway. Shut up. <laughs> Seriously, ladies, what are we going to do? 
Okay, calm down. Just calm all that down. Alright. Listen. Clearly the Capadelsas are just messing with us. But that little stunt we put on them with the statue. I mean, they probably spent that room just to give us a taste of our own medicine. We made our bed. We really made our bed. Them fucking KDs. What are we gonna do? They deserve a probate. They work so hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ms. Morris said we just still have the homecoming party. So I said we just bring them out there. That's that's a good idea. Yo, 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 we out here curbside kicking the kickoff for uh, homecoming. Make some noise if you're feeling it. Okay, shout out to the basketball team for bringing that home to us tonight. Shout out to my man Darnell James for dropping 40 points. Man, but anyways, we're gonna get right back at it. Y'all prolific. Yo, what up? Man, you trying to drop something tonight or what? Man, I know we've been turning up all night. But I kind of want to smooth it out. You think that's cool? Man, y'all know it's cool with me. But is it cool with y'all that prolific drop something tonight? The crowd has spoken, man. Word, word. Yo, y'all have been a dope-ass crowd. And yo, Vert, it's crazy because I started right here as a student. Word, I'm already knowing you've been doing your thing, kid. Man, it's crazy. And you know, I, I just like to thank everyone who ever believed in me and kept pushing me to get where I am today. And this next track is actually dedicated to a few people who helped me realize who I am as an artist. And to help me perform this piece, I would like to bring to the stage the talented Camille. Y'all put your hands together, bro. Make some noise, make some noise. Now give, it, give it a mic, bro. Yo, Verb, spin that new track we've been working on. The Trigamma. Make some noise for the Trigamma. Like this, 
Yeah, make some noise for the new Trigamma. Give it up 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 for the new Trigamma. session the other day and you know he came to me talking about some things that was going on with him and basketball and his grades and one thing kind of led to another and we kissed yo what no but listen uh, that's all it was was a kiss nothing more i mean it was a mistake i didn't mean stacy no listen denise he apologized right after he said how much you ca he cared about you Come on, please. I am so sorry, Denise. I don't want to. Sexy, how could you do this to me? You sat around and talked to me for months talking about the sisterhood and the bonding and all and the other stuff. And that. you've been talking to my no. man. Darnell! Denise! Hey, baby. Congratulations, baby. Don't make me. What are you going to tell me about Sexy? Uh, no, about no, 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 we can't because our time is almost over, just like our relationship, no, Darnell. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. He was just trying to help. Bro, what's going on? Are you okay? Baby, I'm sorry. Yo, baby. I'm hey, sorry. Don't let this go. Just leave, man. Just come on. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. We've done enough. We've done enough. So I decided to come over and pay you a visit. Okay, good. I'm glad that you came. I know that we've been going through a lot of stuff lately, and I just think if we spend a little more uh, time together, that everything will just work itself out. I'm sure it will, baby. Chop, Travis, baby, no, not tonight. I think we really need to talk and get to the bottom of our problems before we even think about having sex again. Talk? That's all we ever do is talk. I thought after the last conversation we had, I apologized. There wouldn't be anything else left to talk Travis, about. Travis, baby. Uh, going to the restroom.
Hey, hon. I didn't expect you to call, but, uh, are you coming over tonight? Missed you. We have some catching up to do. Travis, are you coming or not? Who is that? And why are you on my phone? Uh, Travis, who was that? Why is there a man calling you hun? Don't what? worry about it. Don't you question me. Uh, Travis, maybe... <laughs> you heard me. Shut up. <laughs> Travis, stop. Shut up. Next time on the U. Man, turn the radio on. What? Bro, turn the radio on. Just let me check this. Deeply sorry about what I put you through. I don't know if we talk about this. We must be talking about two different Travises, cause Travis is my boyfriend, and he would never do that to a woman. Hey, Camille, call 911. Shut up. Hey, you say something else? This shit over. <laughs>